back to our document. What are we going to do? We're going to add actually a table to show our sub products. Create a table. Again, I do not want any spacing left or right. So I'm just going to say in options, remove all padding. Okay, padding is zero. Um, I actually do not want to see this table, so I do not want to show any edges. And what do I want to show in this table? I want to show my option packs. So these are the entertainment pack, the driving assistance pack, all of this stuff. That's the uh, that's the stuff that I want to see here. And at the bottom here, what maybe what I want actually is the cost. Uh, the total cost that comes from my uh, from my quotes. So, okay. See, I always copy paste it from another template. I have this template you can download as indicated from our academy. So now what we have is a table to repeat for every model, for every car. And we have a table to repeat for every option family that's linked to our car. Okay, let's quickly take a look at the edit lines to make sure that it's clear for uh, for for everybody what we're going to do. So we want to show now these cars, the top level cars, and for every uh, and for every um, pack that's linked to these top level cars, entertainment pack, drive assistance pack, we actually want to repeat this inner structure, this table, so that it will show nicely every table. Uh, every option family. Okay, so every pack that we can add. Cool. How do we do that? Let's go back to our data source. And we want to now create a child data source on it. So just from data sources here, click new data source. Again, it's a Sockle data source. We're going to call it Academy um, Option packs training one of course it's a list of objects so that's fine it's linked to our main line item that's important because we only we need to know which option packs are linked to which main line items so let's save this one okay and go here stockle builder again so i use the stockle builder for everything <laughs> Um, and again, we filter on quote line items. As I said, this can take a couple of seconds uh, because you can see lots of uh, objects here to filter on, but we're already there. Uh, just to double check, this is the quote line and this is the object to use. What are we going to do? We're going, of course going to filter on the quote that we select information from the right quote. So we're going to select this one already. We're going to select the record ID. I always do that. I always take the record ID with me. Um, I want to take the, let's take a look at our template. What else do we need? I want to take the uh, um, required by field. Yeah. Then I want to take the uh, product. Okay, follow the relation and take the product name. Okay, um, what else do I need? I think I'm there, I think I'm good. So what I now wanna say is, of course, I wanna full filter on the right quotes. Let's do that already. Um, and next up, I wanna say, I wanna link this data source to my parent data source. So I wanna tell to the system that if I select these option packs, to which cars these options actually belong? Yeah. How do I do that? With these relationship settings. So I select the grouping field yeah, uh, used to relate this uh, object to our parent. We know that it's gonna be the required by field. It's the required by field on my quote line that will indicate who is my parent. And on my parent, which uh, field resembles the required by, it's the record ID. So 
these uh, these option packs belong to a certain car if the required by equals the record ID. That's what I'm saying here. Okay, setting is done. So I have everything filled in automatically. Um, save my query, update the screen. Everything looks great. So my data is now selected. Next step, PDF butter configuration. Again, I'm going to, uh, one second, I'm going to save my document here and I'm going to upload it again. Okay, save the server. So the document's already uh, uploaded. Now on my uh, table here, I actually want to say uh, it's, a, I want to repeat a table in this outer table. So really build that structure there. So actually what I'm now going to say is that um, as a child of this outer table, I'm going to say that I needed to repeat an inner table. So again, use this plus here. I'm going to call this table option family. Um, it's of type table. Um, no, I do not want to use the, uh, the parent data source. I want to use the, okay, that was not smart. Of course, I need to, add, sorry, add the data source first as a child, so it knows perfectly this relationship. Okay, everything is there now. Now I can actually add the table configuration. Okay, of type table. No, not a parent data source. I want the option packs. The merge fields to identify the table to repeat is option family. I want to have a single spacing and no criteria. This is done. Okay. Now, the only merge field that I have in this one is option family. So I want to fill that one with the name of my product. Okay, so this is the configuration. Save to server. Okay, let's take a look. Go back to our quote. I'm actually going to open this quote in a new tab. Um, click the button. So it will now take all of the information. Oh, it's already there. And this looks actually really good. So I have my car here and I have my two packs on this car and I have my other car here and I have my, my three packs on that car. So this looks actually like exactly, it's doing exactly as I wanted to do. We will work on the spacing a little bit more. You see some more spacing here, some less spacing there. So these are all settings we can perfectly handle. So uh, we will uh, tackle that and make it very nice and beautiful. Next up is uh, first the 